Yeah, my name is Sergei, so and uh, we are relatively re recent uh, to CVCRM uh, community, just one year, something like that. And uh, two words about me, my company, so Agileve, we do custom software development, mainly web development, and also for about one year we work with CV CRM, actually work, and now I would like to tell a little more about one of our clients, the biggest client. So, and what we did actually doing for them. So actually this is the third, the biggest uh, political party in Ukraine. Uh, so it is presented, so it is presented in the parliament, uh, very active. It is presented in each uh, region of the country. So they have thousands, thousands uh, members, associate members, uh, supporters, and so on and so on. They have 100 branches, so till now, Actually, this uh, sprint, it was uh, 300 something different branches. And uh, multi-level, full-level hierarchy based on geographical uh, location. Uh, they tracking in their records um, more than uh, 50, 100 um, contacts, is it members, constituents, some other uh, people uh, they work with. They have uh, dozens of active projects. And what is the most important? They track everything in Google Sheets. <laughs> All this stuff, they have hundreds of Google Sheets. So each branch uh, has their own Google Sheet and uh, Google Docs. Some person may create their own Googles and then uh, left the party, go to another party, and all the information uh, was lost. Yeah. So, and in this way, they managed to get the search the biggest political party in the country. Right. And definitely, yeah, the challenges are like visible. So they continue growing. Uh, and uh, this manual process, uh, it causes a lot of a lot of just human uh, mistakes. Some, uh, some records are not updated, some records are missed. Some information was shared either with wrong people or not shared at all. Uh, right. Performance uh, definitely is very low of this process. Uh, large amount of paperwork because they always print the sheets, show to somebody, print another, mar uh, making some marks, put them back to Google Sheets, or forgot to put to, to Google Sheets, and so on. All right? Uh, yes, as I mentioned, each branch, they have separate uh, Google Docs, separate Google Sheets, and this information was uh, stored, and I think nobody in the party know where all the information is located. It was located. Right? Yeah, and no single inventory, uh, no single budgeting process, and what was the most important that there was no way to find uh, the information about uh, their contacts, the information about process. So each branch knows what they are doing, but uh, when going up, it was no way to get this information to guess. And in some moment, it was uh, December last year, they came to us and said, okay, we are tied up, we need to automate this process. And uh, it's better to automate it by the end of the year. Just one month. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, when we start talking about uh, automation, uh, then first of all, uh, they would like to move uh, all this uh, Google Sheets to database and to move all this information about their contacts, about their members to Google Sheets. It's uh, from Google Sheets to, uh, the, to the system. Second, they would like to move uh, all the pro uh, projects, uh, all, all the internal activities, all the events uh, also uh, to the system. So from this purpose, um, CVCRM uh, works perfect. But then they start thinking additionally. Okay, since we already automated, let's then also move uh, inventory tracking there. Why not? We have people there, let's put all the stuff like, they have a lot of stuff like flags, uh, tents uh, to stay on the street, right? Cars and other, other you know, a lot of stuff. Okay, if moving uh, this part of financial information, let's then move budgeting there. Why not? It's important, but if you put budgeting, we need to put KPI there, because they are correct. Okay, and if they started talking about uh, integration, then they go further. So let's make the system uh, just only a working environment uh, for our members. 
So well, let's make sure that uh, all the communication in, is also uh, done through the system. It means the mail is there, an internal chat, but finally we decided it to be uh, like Facebook. Uh, Facebook um, currently provide for um, so-called uh, work uh, workplace uh, by Facebook. So it's like Facebook, but only for uh, your organization and for non-commercial it is free. So you have like your uh, own Facebook and people are accustomed with Facebook and can uh, switch very easy. Okay, and finally they designed something like this. So we have CVCRM inside, but we had to uh, make new design. Ah, yes, it was very important to make new design because this is party. They are presented in all, all regions, in the latest village. And you have a person uh, who worked 40 years in the field, and now they, they, manage, they manage information for the party, right? And it should be very simple, and it should be uh, very intuitive, and uh, there should be no extra uh, information. Uh, localization, definitely it should be localized to Ukrainian. Uh, then, as I mentioned, oh, okay, then they asked it to add document tracking, and we did this through cases. Uh, they asked it to uh, advance security, yes, it's, I'll tell a little more about security, because it's very important then not to share information between different regions, not to share information between different parts of the organization, because uh, I'm not saying they compete, but uh, everybody cares about the information. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, next important, as I mentioned, integration with ERP, so all financial information was integrated with ERP. And uh, till that time, ERP uh, was uh, the only automated stuff uh, in the party. Uh, also, as I mentioned, we uh, uh, integrated email client, we built a KPI management system, budget and management, uh, management system, uh, integrated with Facebook and uh, added Google Maps. Uh, so this is to make some visualization of uh, the um, events uh, on the map. So, in the result, we have CVCRM functionality plus lot of lot of additional stuff and actually it works it's works now uh, I'm limited of time so what I want to pay uh, more attention on in new design to talk a little more about uh, multi-level security and possibly about calendar its new uh, extension and if I have more time I'll tell a little more later about other uh, items oops user interface this is how uh, CVCRM uh, looks. And as I mentioned, uh, average users, they are primary, they are not IT guys, they are even not office guys. They may come from any, any, uh, 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 any industry, from any uh, experience. So interface should be very simple, very intuitive, and we made something like this. So we come to the redesign interface. We rebuilt it using a bootstrap. And uh, this contact and all the key information about person, photo, his position in one organization. A person could be a member of your organization, actually. Contact information here in the top. Very side menu. It is actually very big. Uh, and here uh, the user can access all needed information about uh, personal info, news, uh, cases, events, uh, contribution, whatever uh, he's invited, invited, involved in. So just one click, and this menu is always at the top. And working area where the person can work. And as I mentioned, we make this redesign for all the systems, so all system uh, looks like uh, in the same. Yes, as I mentioned, this is uh, contact hidden, menu, and working uh, area. Our localization, it was easy, it's just about uh, 1,600 uh, lines <laughs> text was translated to Ukraine. Uh, not, actually, not all was translated, some of them were just verified. It was 
it looks like uh, there was some automated translation which uh, has no meaning or meaning was absolutely different from what it, it was just word translated and so so we reviewed uh, all this uh, 13 thousand uh, lines and now now Ukrainian translation is completely available uh, in CVCRM. Multi-level security, it's very, very fine stuff. Yeah. Is that the, the user interface, is that an extension or is it? Uh, no. Actually, I have a friend with me, Bodan. Bodan, the show. And uh, he is more technical guy. I, uh, I am more like uh, <laughs> talking guy, right? <laughs> so uh, is there uh, uh, any, question, any technical questions is for Bogdan? But uh, user interface, uh, I understand you just uh, I wrote uh, using Bootstrap and uh, use some additional uh, technology which I mentioned, but I don't remember. So possibly uh, after the presentation, Bokan can tell more uh, how this is done. Uh, security. So as I mentioned, the party is presented in all uh, all uh, region of the country, and uh, actually they have four level security. Country level is like a central office, the country level. Then Ukraine consists of 25 uh, regions, also named oblast. 25 regions. Each region may consist of, uh, I believe, from 15 till 30, maximum 32 uh, different districts, or big city. And each district uh, includes villages, towns, and uh, the lowest level branches. And they have three main roles, like administrator, who can do everything, manager, who can manage uh, all the information for, like, the region manager, manage all information for his region and down. So it is a realm. And uh, regular users who can see uh, and manage his own information on his own. When I'm talking about information, I mean not, not really contact information, but also, also cases, events, and so on, right? From another side, they uh, have five departments uh, in the central office, but those departments uh, can manage, you can see only the, the information. For example, finance department can see only finance information, but they cannot see uh, any information uh, related to political activity of the party, right? and vice versa. So what we did? We did custom extension to implement those roles. Right. So we have administrator who has access to everything. Then we have manager roles who has access to information in his regions and down, but they cannot access any info uh, for another regions. And uh, we have set level, user level, who can access information only of his uh, command in his uh, branch, is a district branch or region level or town level, only in his branch. Mm -hmm. So here we have, we use a relationship to build this relation between uh, organization, like a child parent, and we use relationship to build relation between uh, members and the corresponding organization. Right, and it uh, depends on, role, uh, on the role assigned uh, that, ma that member of this role allows I see everything down on only in his organization on everything, or all information for entire, uh, for entire party. And uh, actually to implement this, uh, we a little re rebuilt, or actually built from, uh, from the beginning, just a related permission extension. But we extend it first of all to have unlimited number of uh, relations, so we can continue down. But this party ha has only four levels, but we can continue down if needed. Uh, second, we extended it to uh, apply security not only to contact information, but also to cases, to events, and uh, cases, events, uh, activities, uh, uh, next, we, uh, we also, uh, this extension also allows to um, set up access 
as a, to all information or to some information on a, a nice information. So that is mo uh, not three states. All full access, no access, or access only to some fields. Yes. And this is important because for those guys who should access, let's say, only financial information, we should give them access only to some fields, to, to only to financial uh, stuff. Next, uh, calendar. It's also a new component. Uh, so, as a token, uh, people are not very, uh, average user is not very advanced in IT. So they would like to see all this uh, task, uh, all this activity, all these cases assigned to them in some easy way, so in some graphical way. So we implemented calendar very close to what we you can see in the outlook, right? So here a person can see uh, info for specific period, like entire month, week, day, same as you can do this in outlook. Uh, they can view details of when you move on some event. There's on the fi uh, first line, but when you click, uh, the system open a pop-up window showing some generic information about is it activity or is it event or is it uh, just case. Uh, also, they can add a new event or new uh, activity directly from the calendar, just pressing the uh, add uh, button. And also there are some additional filters, so you can see only uh, events, or you can see only uh, activities, or, or what, whatever you will check on this calendar. And going further, uh, we are, so this version, it already works uh, for the client. And going further, uh, they also would like to add functionality when you can combine a calendar for a few different uh, pers uh, persons. So you can, so this will allow, uh, based on uh, some specific rule, will, will uh, show not only uh, your selected uh, user uh, uh, calendar, but also can put few calendars one by one, so you can compare or you can see, for example, selecting all the uh, members of your branch, you can see who and when he and what is doing, actually. And also, uh, we are going to add some uh, hints when you just move mouse over the event uh, to show all the information so you do not need to click. Or oh, is it done already? Not yet, okay. It's going to be done. All uh, right. Let's go ahead and time. Okay. So okay, okay. five minutes. And uh, what else? Yeah. Uh, integration, mail client, I mentioned. So what we did, we just built in mail client inside the series area. Uh, we selected around cube, it's PHP uh, mail client. So we implemented single sign-on. And currently when a user is logging to CRM, they have access to their main cli uh, mail client. And moreover, when we create a account for new user, his mail, cl uh, mail like mailbox, is created automatically, so this is very simplified work of system administration because, as I mentioned, thousands, thousand members, and maintaining this information uh, manually it was very difficult. And now you have new members, mail created automatically. They log in using simple sign on. They see all all, all the emails inside uh, CSRM. Uh, yeah, and. Actually, it looks like normal mail client. You can read email, answer email, compose new email, um, do whatever to me. Uh, KPI. KPI uh, system, so uh, it's separate, uh, again, it's separate extension. It allows to set up KPI for branches. It allows to uh, uh, build a consolidated KPI report. So when you set up KPI for district, you can then aggregate them and see a uh, like generic result for uh, region. Uh, also, they say KPI history and uh, they allow to, when building a report, it, uh, the extension allow to weigh the result because there could be small branches, there could be big br uh, branches, 
And uh, in order to compare them, uh, you should have some, uh, some weighted uh, formulas, right? And to manage KPIs, looks like this. You have different topics like on office, on, uh, on team structure, on uh, social activity, on budgeting. So, for example, some KPIs are defined for, by, uh, for financial part, like how, how do you work with uh, membership payments, uh, how do you work with uh, involving uh, other donation, uh, how you work with uh, funding uh, partners or funding source. And then you can uh, uh, save such KPI for each organization and then uh, execute, just enter uh, real uh, numbers and compare uh, plans and compare results between different organizations. Uh, <coughs> ERP integration, so financial integration, as I mentioned, uh, the client would like to move, uh, oh, uh, oh, this contrib contribution is easy. So they synchronize contribution with uh, the ERP. So all payments are done through ERP system. But uh, what we need to do, we need to see uh, the result uh, in, CVC, in CVCRM. So here in CVCRM, we just calculate and make a membership. Payment is done is in ERP, and ERP return back balance information about payments. Uh, inventory. Uh, Inventory works in another way, so they track all inventories in their ERP system, but uh, only account in the financial department has access to ERP system. And uh, branch managers, to make some decision, they need to see the information. So they can see this information from CVC area. They do not have access to uh, ERP system. So on a regular basis, at, at night, we load uh, all the information from ERP back to CVCRM uh, by branches and then go into branch. There should be some, uh, oh, here. There is inventory uh, menu item and uh, manager can open and see what is on his balance, what, what he has uh, at his balance, right? And then uh, they can use uh, Document management system, uh, which is based on case, actually it's case, to make some transition or to, uh, to send some request because it should be approved and, and uh, each request going through a few stages like approved by one manager, approved by another manager, approved by finance, approved by uh, legal department and final approval and only that is executed. Uh, budgeting. Budgeting very, very similar to uh, KPIs, so uh, again, uh, on different uh, levels, a um, branch manager can b uh, enter budget information, then uh, this budget information could be cons consolidated. Also, uh, the party has strict rules how the money could be used. You cannot budget what you want. They, for example, the, if you have some amount, there is very clear rule how this amount could be distributed. You can spend, for example, for TV on this amount, for other advertising on this portion uh, of your budget, and so on and so on. And those rules are entered into the system and uh, it automatically validated when a manager builds a uh, plan their uh, budget. So budget execution, history save it, and the ability to analyze uh, budget uh, versus expenses. Okay, and what, uh, it's internal relocation, and what I would like to pay, uh, map, I just added to the shop, but this already, I, as I know in last version, there is already visualization, it's nothing new. Yes, it's what I wanted to show also, how we deploy the system. As I mentioned, uh, it is already deployed and it's deployed on Amazon. And on Amazon, they have main application server and uh, database. But due to big load and to uh, big organizations, they also have a load balancer and some uh, mirroring server uh, in case uh, the main server is overloaded with request. Also, they use Amazon uh, SaaS for mailing and there is uh, integration with the ERP uh, client website, uh, workplace for Facebook, which are located in, uh, on different servers. And all that stuff took us about half a year. 
So we did major release uh, just recently in September, all right? And uh, we split our project in uh, five main phases. So first one was uh, just basic uh, base, uh, basic phase, just localizing, uh, making new de design, making new security, so on. Then activity uh, stage, like implementing uh, cases, mailing calendar, uh, document tracking, so on. Third stage was uh, building KPI uh, system and uh, force was integrating with the uh, external system. And now we are working on budgeting and inventory. And uh, what we see now is that clients started actually losing the system. There are a lot of, lot of requests that everything should work about the same, but a little bit different. So I expect that uh, there will be, for another half year, there will be a lot of work. Okay, looks like I'm in time. So if there is, yeah. How many people work on this? Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, and how many hours, right? And in team, uh, we have two persons working uh, at the UI part, two, two engineers working uh, on the backend part. We have business analyst working with the client, a QC, like tester, in, uh, and project manager. But not all, uh, all of them work uh, in the same time. So, for example, the UI part was done early, now it's less load. And the uh, backend uh, CVCRM guys, they work almost all the time. Uh, QC, uh, yeah, all other work almost. Uh. So, uh, in total, uh, seven persons working, most of them working a uh, big part of the project. Okay, then thank you for your attention, and if any technical question, uh, me or Bogdan actually would be glad to answer. Thank you.